Hello everyone. I'm in the kitchen today because it's time to make homemade wine. Mm. <laughs> you guys remember the first batch of prison wine that I made? It was so good and all of my friends wanted it. So when you start giving it away, you start running out of <laughs> out of jars. So um and you can use your canning jars. But uh, I'm making another batch of homemade sparkling apple prison wine. Sparkling apple prison wine. And when I tell you that this is sparkling wine, this is sparkling wine. Okay? It has the bubbles and it is so good. And they call it prison wine because it only has three ingredients. That's apples, water, and sugar. Now, uh, today I used about two bags of apples. I don't know how many pounds that is. But I used two bags of apples and I used five cups of sugar. And the five cups of sugar is the, you know, the regular amount. And I think that's to like one gallon of water. But today, um, because I'm using so many more apples, I'm just filling it up. I'm, I'm just bringing, um, I actually used about a gallon, hmm, about a gallon and a half of water because this holds two and a half gallons of water. And the water does need to be you know fresh good good bottle water so and uh this is this is spring water but anyway oh my gosh i mean i like it you can try it. if you don't like it hey your preference but i'm also in the naked wine club okay so wine ain't no problem and i'll also uh leave a link uh, for you guys in the description, you know, if you want to check out Naked Wines and and uh, put some of those beverages in your in your prepper uh, pantry. But uh, yeah, you just add the sugar, the apples, and the water, and you stir it for about a minute. Okay, but you need, the first time you stir it, you want to make sure that all of the sugar is dissolved and then you're going to stir it every day for about a minute okay you're going to stir it every day for about a minute for about 30 days now after about 30 days um, I'm pretty sure your wine will be ready but if you want it to go longer and I'm going to let this batch go longer this time because I want it to sparkle more and I want to raise the alcohol content. Okay, so I'm going to let this batch go uh, a little longer. I'll probably let it go for about six weeks. And then you just strain it in a cheesecloth. You just strain it through a cheesecloth into your bottles. All right. And I kept mine um, in my pantry on the shelf. So, but you want to make sure it's in a cool and dry space. You don't want to store your wine anywhere where it's warm because, you know, you're, 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 it might explode. But um, when uh, you make this wine, you want to make sure you store it in a, in a pretty pretty warm place okay so I'm gonna store this wine out on my um, sun porch because it gets a little warm in there until I turn the air conditioner on so I'm just gonna just put it out there I'm just gonna put it out there because it does uh, um, you know it that that area is a little warm and that's what this needs that's what this needs to help it ferment okay all right so all I'm gonna do now is just add a, a plastic you know wrap a piece of plastic wrap across the top 
and just let it go for about six weeks. And you guys can refer to my first prison wine video, okay? It it just has the same uh, instructions. It's three ingredients. Stir and stir every day for about a minute, for about 30 days. And after that, you should have some very good homemade wine that's very simple to make, okay? And you can buy all of the fancy doodads, you know, the wine thermometer, this, that, and the other. I have that. But you know what? I don't need to do it with this wine. All right, guys. I hope you like this video. I'm just showing you what I'm doing, okay? So if you like to see what I'm doing, you can give it a thumbs up. And you can like me if you like me. You like me. You like me. <laughs> that was such a cute little video. But, um, yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. And I hope that you're making some homemade wine yourself. And like I said, I will leave you a link in the description box for, um, what, what's it called? What's it called? Help me out, guys. I, I told you in the beginning, Naked Wines. Yeah, Naked Wines. If you want to join that club, it is awesome if you love wine. Okay? All right. And you can tell them tons of sent you over there. I don't get any money for it. I just love you guys. Peace out.